I'm Greg, it's How to Drink, the show I'm making cocktails and how to drink them, and let's make a low alcohol by volume cocktail called a poinsettia. Uh, poinsettia is a staple of Christmas parties I've never been to because I only just heard about this drink. <laughs> Let's get going. This season I've done a ton of hot drinks for the holidays, but um, it's time to do something cold. We're gonna make a poinsettia, and I'm kinda gonna make it two ways. Um, I'm gonna make it one way very, very standard, uh, just the way that it's always made, and then very quickly we're gonna make it also a way that I would like to elevate that drink, and we'll put them next to each other and see how they go. Poinsettia, two ways. I wish I had two of them. We could call the show Between Two Poinsettias. Zach Galifianakis couldn't be here today. Unfortunately, he said he was coming, uh, but he got stuck in traffic. There's no real spirits in this drink. It's just um, liqueur and champagne, and we're gonna keep it that way. Uh, I wanna keep this drink low ABV. I think that, uh, first of all, I make a lot of cocktails. I make a lot of full strength, kick you in your face drinks. Uh, but not everybody wants to get hammered at the holidays. Some of you like your families. Maybe uh, grandma doesn't want to go into orbit, as my grandmother would say when I make her a drink. Gregory, you're putting me into orbit over here. Oh, so you don't want it? No, I'll take some more. I'll take some more. Grandma likes the bottle. We're gonna stir this drink. Um, for reasons, I've just decided to stir it. Need one ounce of cranberry juice. This is 100% pure cranberry juice. There's no sugar added. It's not really something that you would actually drink. And if you're using a regular cranberry juice, don't do this step. If you just have ocean spray, don't do this but I am going to add a quarter ounce of simple syrup to this because if I don't, this will be way, way too tart, like kind of gross. And this uh, recipe calls for a half an ounce of triple sec and I'm gonna use my old friend Hiram and Walker triple sec bought for the episode of Spirit Guide where I talked about triple sec. Wouldn't normally use this, but we're doing this drink twice. Nice thing about this bottle is it comes in a bottle already shaped like a hip flask. So if you wanted to put that in your pocket, and uh, walk around with it for a while. You know, it's already it's set up for that. That's nice. It's a, it's a very thoughtful thing from the Hiram Walker people. I feel like they're not gonna like this video. I'm gonna stir this with some cracked ice. All right, we're just gonna stir this up to chill it and dilute it. Um, always a good idea with a drink to get a little chill and dilution in there. And why am I not building this in the glass? I wanna serve this drink up. If I was gonna serve this drink over the over ice, I'd probably build this one in the glass. It's it's simple like that, um, but because we're gonna do it up and without ice, I think we want to stir it. And we're gonna pour this part of the drink into this lovely little Nick and Nora. You could serve this in a Collins as well. It's an elegant drink, elegant glass. Rules about champagne, always, always, always. Release the cage the cork pointed away from you and anything you don't want to destroy. And I could do this thing, right? I could do the wee! I could do that, but why would I do that? I don't want to do that. Boom. Bubbles everywhere. The garçon pour here. All right. I think that's what you're supposed to do, right? When you're at a fancy restaurant? Would you like some champagne? I don't know. Um, and we'll garnish this with, uh, you know, like three fresh cranberries. Float them in there. Cranberries are always fun because they float. I did four. So don't call me a liar. Let's taste this drink. This is the standard poinsettia. Not bad, not bad. Kind of one note. Um, no one's gonna object if you put it in the glass. A little bit of a funky tail, but honestly that might be my cheap champagne. No, it's not terrible. Just a little boring. I mean, it's low ABV, so there's not a, like a kick to it. It's just tart, refreshing, sweet. But not too sweet. I put in the right amount of sugar. I mean, the champagne is pretty present, which is nice. It's not overpowered. Um, and it's got some pleasant orangey citrusy notes coming from the triple sec, actually. Okay, so let's make the elevated version of this drink. It's gonna start out pretty much the same way. I'm gonna need uh, an ounce of our cranberry, of the cranberry juice. I watched this video the other night of Jeff Morgenthaler talking about how to make a cocktail video. And now I stop myself every time I I catch myself doing one of his pet peeves, like talking about the ingredients as if there are ingredients. Are cranberry juice. Like, ah, oh, crap, I do that, don't I? Oh boy. A uh, quarter ounce of this, the simple syrup. I'm gonna use a half an ounce of dry curacao. Uh, this has just more character and a more complicated flavor profile than the standard triple sec. 
Um, it's a little bit sweeter as well. And a dash of absinthe. Um, maybe even two dashes. I reach for this a lot when I'm trying to improve a cocktail. A drop or two of absinthe is just like, adds so much character and flavor to a drink. I crack some ice over here. Um, and I'm gonna take some of this rosemary on this coaster that I sometimes use for burning ingredients on. Very good uh, burn plates available at Anthropology. It takes a second to get hot enough to start really burning. And then trap all that smoke in my glass. So there's a couple different ways to smoke a cocktail. I find that for rosemary and things like that, in the glass works the best. Pour in there. Pop it up with champagne. And you can make a Christmas wreath out of um, a cranberry and a sprig of rosemary and float that right in the drink. Ooh, look at that. That is holiday festivity in a glass. Now let's take a sip and see how this version of the poinsettia, slightly upgraded it is. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Still very low ABV. A wonderful rosemary nose, very smoky. Lovely tartness, eases into that champagne. And there's a little bit, a little drop of absinthe note at the very end there, I love that. And that's one of the things I love about adding absinthe to a drink is that typically flavor profile unfolds over time. But for me, the longer that profile can last, the more I like a drink in general. Um, and absinthe, for whatever reason, always lands not right up front, not right up front. So you can add it to a lot of drinks um, and rather than getting lost in the noise, it stands out and accentuates it and extends the tail of that flavor profile. I think that's kind of why the tradition of improving a cocktail, the improved versions involve absinthe and maraschino because they do that so well. I mean, I, I think that there's a lot of different ways to upgrade a poinsettia. I could imagine a version of this with amaretto. Possibly an Amaro would work here. You could fortify this with cognac uh, for Patrons who prefer to be drunk. Okay, over here. This is more or less candy in a glass. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It doesn't ask you to notice it at all. Um, it's just there. This one is accessible, but complicated. Maybe just a slightly challenging flavor. And if I'd name my version of the poinsettia, I'd call it an Uncle Lewis. It kind of reminds me of that scene in National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation when Uncle Lewis burns up the tree. I love that movie. That's a poinsettia two ways. Wonderful drink to serve at the holidays this year. Uh, you can make it into a punch bowl. You can expand it that way. It's festive. It's bright red. It's easy to drink. These are very low ABV, so you don't have to worry about everybody getting kind of you know, filthy at the holiday. Filthy, is that the word I wanna say? Saucy, I don't know what the word I wanna say. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. We've made so many hot beverages for the holidays this year, but I mean, a lot of parts of the world are gonna be hot in the holidays, and maybe they don't wanna have a steaming hot bowl of wassail. Hey, oh, that's how to drink. Uh, so that's the drink, that's the show. I uh, made this drink two ways. I hope you have a very happy holiday. Um, and if you like the show, please subscribe. Uh, I do my best to respond to the comments, I read them all. I'm on Twitter at how to drink with a number. I'm on Instagram on how to drink with a number. Uh, I have a Patreon at patreon.com slash how to drink. And if you like the things I use in the show, well, I put links to a lot of that in the show description, but you could also go to this is how to drink.com slash beer. Thank you guys so much. I hope you have a great holiday and I will see you next week with another cocktail on how to drink. Grace, the blessing. They want you to say the blessing. Um, it's true. We both went up for that role. I was three at the time. I wasn't actually, I was like 10 when that movie came out, so.